my very favorite things is turmeric. If you read about turmeric for pain, any type of inflammation, arthritis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or just regular aches and pains, turmeric can be your very best friend. So I'm going to show you today how to make a um, tincture, okay? So what I've done is I have put turmeric in a jar, okay? So I filled it half full with turmeric, and then I put about, I don't know, I would say I have five parts turmeric and one part black pepper because believe it or not, turmeric will be absorbed better with black pepper. So to make a tincture, and I, what I do is I, you have to not fill the jar because you don't want the turmeric at the top and then you can't have the tincture. The turmeric has to be covered with the liquid and the liquid in a tincture is 80% proof vodka. Now I do buy organic vodka, it's very hard to find, but if you can go to your local um, LCBO, your local liquor store, um, I got a really good girl that I asked her if she could order me organic vodka and she did, she brought it in just for me. And it's awesome because when I'm dealing with herbs, I do like to use organic because especially with arthritis and inflammation, why are you going to put chemicals into your body if you're trying to get rid of inflammation because that's just compounding the problem. So what I did was I put half of this jar with turmeric root and then I put, you're gonna go five parts, five parts turmeric, one part pepper. So say I put five cups of turmeric, I'm going to put one cup of pepper just to give you an idea. And then I'm going to fill this jar two inches, at least two inches over the turmeric and pepper so that it is really soaked in there. I'm going to fill it with 80 proof vodka, 80 proof organic vodka. And what that does is it absorbs the turmeric and the pepper into the vodka. And then we're going to strain this and you can literally take this as a medicine in your mouth, in your water, in your tea, whatever you want, and you're actually getting the benefits of the turmeric through your whole body. So again, if you want to put five cups of turmeric, one cup of pepper, and then fill it up at least two inches above the turmeric with 80% proof vodka, okay? So that's what I've done here. And then I just put a lid on it and I put a little bit of a paper towel just so that you know, it's not leaking all over the place. And I have had this sitting on my counter for six weeks in the sunshine, in the daylight. And that is, it, it's called infusing. It's infusing all the turmeric into the vodka, okay? So I'm going to today make the actual tincture, okay? So I'm going to take this and it's probably a little bit hard to get off because it's been sitting here for six weeks. So I'm gonna give it a good pull. And it just is giving me a really hard time, but it's coming. And look at the beautiful color of that turmeric. It is an absolutely beautiful herb. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. So it's in there with all the pepper. So now I'm going to take another jar, a nice clean jar, and I'm going to put my cheesecloth over it. And remember with cheesecloth, it's just a, a little cloth that's made out of 100% cotton and it has little air holes in it so that you can strain whatever you're doing. I like to buy unbleached cheesecloth. It's, it's kind of a, a little bit of a cream color because again, I feel that I don't wanna have bleach in my organic tincture. So that's just me. You can buy the, the white if you want, if you can't get this, but it is worth it in my opinion to look for this type of cheesecloth if you're making medicine for yourself because you don't want extra chemicals, especially if you have inflammation because chemicals cause more inflammation in the body. So we're going to put this cheesecloth over the jar and we're just going to, whoops, we're going to give it a little bit of pressure so it's 
a little bit indented because if I leave this flat, it's going to go all over the counter, of course. So I'm kind of doing this wrong. Let's take this off. Let's do the indent first. And then we'll do this. Okay. Oh, this elastic is giving me a hard time. There we go. So now you can see we've got this nice little, you know, hole there so that when we pour this, it's not going all over the counter. It's actually stopping it. Now you can see how much turmeric it takes to make a small tincture. So you can imagine how much medicine is in there. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, you know, give it some help. And you can see that beautiful color going into the jar and that is your tincture. That is your medicine right there. So let's do that and then let's take this and where is it going to go? Of course it's going to go in our compost, right? Because that beautiful turmeric, after we're done with it, is going to go back into the earth and give us nutrients. And then we just continue on. Do some more. Now when it gets to this stage where you have a lot of the liquid out and you have mostly turmeric and pepper in there, I just take this and I squeeze it because I want to get absolutely all of the tincture that I can because that's your beautiful medicine. So I give it a good squeeze and then this of course goes back. And you're gonna see as you get closer to the bottom of the jar, you'll have less and less tincture because it's absorbed everything that it can but we still want to do as much as we can because that beautiful medicine is what we're after. Okay, so you're going to do that until you have all of your turmeric strained out. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so my camera girl, Charlene said, oh, look at your hands. Yes, they're, they're bright yellow from the turmeric. I don't mind because I know that the turmeric is seeping into my skin and, and, you know, going into my bloodstream and getting all the inflammation out. But Charlene is just horrified and said, yeah, we should wear gloves. So yes, if you do not want stained skin, you can get this off right away with a brush and some soap and water. <laughs> so if you don't want stained skin, yes, she is right. Wear some rubber gloves. Nana the Glam Gardener is just a crazy girl and she doesn't care if she's walking around like this. So yes, wear rubber gloves if you don't like that. So you can see I've got this beautiful turmeric liquid, okay? That I'm going to, look at the color of this. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, it's turmeric mixed with pepper because the pepper, it activates the turmeric. Turmeric by, it, by itself, your body will absorb it, but not as well as if it has black pepper. The black pepper allows your body to absorb it a lot better. So now we have this. Oh, I have to say another thing because Charlene, my camera girl, pointed it out. Be careful on your countertops. Nana the Glam Gardener is a little bit like, woohoo, just let's do this. But most people would protect your countertops with some kind of a towel because turmeric as you can see stains so yes it will stain your countertop so yeah you might want to do that so again i get dark bottles because a dark bottle is going to keep the sun from destroying the medicine that's in here and this is just a little dropper and if you can't find these go online I found these online and they're awesome. So a dark brown, some are dark green, as long as the light can't get at your medicine because light will destroy the beautiful properties of the turmeric and the pepper. So this is just a little dropper, okay? So you can take that with my handy dandy funnel and you're going to put it like that and you are going to fill this dropper with medicine. So what you can do with this is you take 
a half a dropper full once a day if you can handle it because turmeric and pepper is really strong me being a, a crazy lady i can handle it it's it it burns but not it doesn't burn uncontrollably but some people would say no way am i putting that on my tongue yes i do understand that so you can either put it in your water or if you really have a hard time you know put because it is very very strong it is very very helpful but very very strong so put it in something that you're not going to have a hard time with like something sweet like orange juice put it into maybe just a little bit and down it this stuff if you read about turmeric it is one of the most awesome things for inflammation. It is one of the best things that you can do for your body. We have one of our family members that she thinks that she might have rheumatoid arthritis. They're just doing the tests and everything for it. And I was a little bit devastated to say the least because rheumatoid arthritis is a painful disease and I just felt that I had to do everything that I could to stop the process of this disease and turmeric is one on my top of my list turmeric with the black pepper so you know I don't claim to be a doctor I don't claim to be a herbalist it's just that I have passion for this kind of stuff and I read a lot uh, one of my and I talked of course to my cousin Wendy because she's my mentor and one of her favorite herbalists is Rosemary Gladstar I've read I think I've read every book that Rosemary Gladstar has has written and I've learned a lot from my cousin Wendy from the books that she's asked me to read so I'm just encouraging you don't take my um, my say so read up on turmeric and black pepper yourself because you're the one that is responsible for your health and you want to make sure that whatever you're doing is good for you I just want to introduce a way that if you do want to do your own medicines and you feel comfortable with it I want to show you that you can do it in your own kitchen I always encourage people to talk to your doctor or your herbalist before you do anything it's just that I want to show you the easy procedure so that you're not paying a fortune for these products because a lot of times you'll go to the store and get these products and there might be just a tiny little bit of turmeric and pepper and a whole lot of water and you're paying a fortune so why not have this product that is pure you know what's in it I know what's in this I know what's going in my body I know what's going in my family's body so I just encourage you to read and educate yourself and look at turmeric if you have aches and pains and any type of arthritis it can be your very best friend so that's just to recap you know I filled um, a jar with let's just pick a number because my jar was quite big so five cups turmeric root uh, one cup pepper I went two to three inches above the turmeric and pepper with 80% proof vodka I let it steep in there for six weeks on the windowsill and then this is what you're left with you strain it beautiful beautiful tincture that will help you so much with inflammation and do so much good in your body so one of my favorite things turmeric okay so you thought I was gone but I'm not I'm still here <laughs> because I want to tell you something to show you how economical it is yes I still have my yellow hands no worries just that beautiful turmeric um, I just want to show you how economical it can be as well as you know exactly what's in here for instance I just uh, about three months ago because I didn't have my tincture ready I purchased some turmeric I would say there's about a cup and a half in the bottle and uh, I, I purchased it and I spent almost $50 on that and it's mostly water it's hardly any turmeric in there so just to let you know I had in these bottles in these little bottles if you look you can see I've got uh, one two three six bottles of half a cup each of the turmeric tincture so okay 
I probably used three cups of turmeric root and probably half a cup of pepper. And then maybe, I don't know, to cover it, I probably used about six cups of 80% vodka. So you can see how much more economical this is. And what did I get? Uh, three bottles of half a cup each. That's a lot of turmeric. That's probably, I don't know, probably two years worth of turmeric for one person. So that's a lot of turmeric. So of course I'm going to share it with our family member that is struggling with pain. And I'm going to use it for myself as well because I do use turmeric daily for myself because my mom has osteoarthritis and I see how much pain she's in and I just don't, I just don't wanna go there if I don't have to. So I always take turmeric every day for myself and it just helps even if you have little aches and pains. And just taking turmeric and pepper just for health it's going to be awesome because everybody has inflammation in their body. So you can see I've got these six half cup bottles that will last me a heck of a long time because every day I'm just using half of a dropper for myself. So you can see not only is, that, is it economical, but you know exactly what's in there. So we do have all these little tinctures. So I'm going to keep one tincture out that I can take every day and the rest I'm going to put in the fridge. They will stay for a very long time. So take what you need every day. This can stay out. It'll it's good for up to a year and by the time a year is up you'll have you'll have taken it all and then the rest you can put in the fridge. Good to go. You have a great day.